eh, sometimes it's a little more pressure, you know? As Anson has mentioned before, uh, we've seen shows where the second season uh, doesn't compare to the first season. So we really wanted to make season two bigger and better than season one. And we um, took some real chances, took some big swings genre-wise, and um, tried a lot of things. We're excited to share it with everyone. We really had the benefit of, of a network had, that had learned to trust our showrunners when they want to take big swings. And also their investment. Like, as you can see, the, we, we just continue to build out the ship. So just the tremendous, tremendous ship support from the network. I mean, just having worked on episode two and seeing how Una finally frees herself of having lived inauthentically for so many years, I think freeing herself from that and moving forward and letting her crew and her everyone know who she really is uh, feels like it's a great metamorphosis for, for the character. It's, it's going to be fun moving on from that. We were just talking earlier about how our sense of our, our relationship that you could, you know, the corners you kind of write in yourself as an actor and that we've been friends since the Academy. I believe that Una has been become that that friend and confidant for Pike that actually is able to show him those things that, that I'm always so critical about that are swirling around my head that I think are my weaknesses. She, you know, when you turn those around, you can actually see those actually those those can be seen as, as strengths as well. But you just got to you can't dwell on it, you gotta be active. And um, that's why she's so important to his being a captain. Well, I think there's a level of family there also that bleeds down into the crew. I think that there has been this, this we've developed this family dynamic and uh, I guess we're the mom and dad <laughs> in, in, you know, in a way. But uh, yeah, I think that there's been a, a deep support and, and, and level of trust within their relationship that bleeds into the rest of the crew. We've taken some very big swings genre-wise in season two, and um, I know some of you have seen the first six episodes. We have some a few episodes coming up after that that are really out there, so we're we're very proud of them. We're very excited. Uh, Anson mentioned earlier that sometimes when you get to episode nine, which is like almost at the end of the season, everyone's kind of tired. Everyone's sort of like almost ready to go home. They brought us this episode that was so out there and it required us to work on weekends and we were all so excited about it. It was like this extra wind behind our sails that we needed at that point in the season. So it's uh, we're really excited to share all these 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 different genres we worked in. Yeah, I, I would I, I agree with Rebecca. I would say that the brevity that the network has given us now that, um, you know, we had a couple of episodes in the first season that they weren't too sure about. And both of those episodes are ones that popped for us. And so they kind of have, they gave our, our showrunners a lot more freedom to play with um, with genre, which is Akiva's mantra continues to be Star Trek can be a lot of things. So we're not just playing with the message that we can be told, but within the episodic structure, we can play with how we get there. And just genre has been a fun way of us talking with the writers about what we haven't done that we would like to do that makes everybody excited to be there, right? And which I think is often an undervalued currency in, in filmmaking is the excitement level, especially in television. I'll speak for myself. I think after episode two, Una, uh, Una really gets freed up and um, is no longer hiding, is no longer, um, sort of living in shame with this shameful secret that she's been hiding all these years. So I think moving forward, that's gonna be very different for her. I would say in terms of the network, no, but there is this really great thing that happens around season two of a TV show when you're working with smart writers like we are, is that um, you'll find them starting to come to you a bit because there is a sense of the character you have from the inside that they're trying to get to from the outside. And conversations about arcs can often lead to really fruitful ideas. Um, and they have been very proactive about do doing that with us. That question was really what, that was the question. You articulated it very well, that we had to deal with in episode 101. We had to deal with that 
not to get past it, but to get Pike back on mission and through the existential crisis for the most part. You don't want to entirely forget it because then you're you're leaving behind a very important aspect of the character, which I think makes him brave in a different way than we've seen every other captain. So, but we want you want to get kind of the navel gazing out of the way. Uh, so we we did that, and then it's always been an an aspect of the character that his challenge continues to be, and I want it to continue to be for a while, reminding himself that the journey is the destination and not the other way around. And I think that the the introduction of the relationship with Captain Battelle has been a very important part of that. Ridiculously fun, just so yeah. fun. Like, uh, I don't think I've ever seen guest stars come with such ownership of the material before. I mean, and they both have such great backgrounds in improv and they never did the same thing twice. I mean, they just, they did something different. They took it off the page and played with it in every single take. It was so fun. And having Jonathan Frakes there was very important to sort of massage the two worlds so that it was cohesive. So that, you know, they come from this animated show and now they're on this, you know, this on the Enterprise, which is a very, very different tone. It was really important that he was there to, to meld to meld those tones. I don't, I don't think anybody else could have directed the episode. No, it was so much fun. It was just a blast.